Welcome to this video tutorial on how to complete course selection for grade 10 students going into grade 11. Guidance has created a help page to guide students through the course selection process. There are different instructions for students who are returning to Northview and for students who are not returning to Northview, including graduates. There is also a link to the virtual course selection fair where you can view videos from the different departments about courses in their program. To get started, simply click on the link for your grade. You will then be taken to a page specific to your grade. If you have not yet joined the Guidance Google Classroom, please do so now as Guidance regularly posts important updates in our classroom. For students going into grade 11 or 12, it is important to start your post-secondary research prior to completing course selections as your choices do impact your post-secondary choices. There is a link to research for college and for university. Once you are ready to begin course selection, start by viewing the instruction page. This page will guide you step by step through the remainder of the course selection process. Next, select the grade level of the courses you wish to view. You will then be taken to the page that has the course offerings for that particular grade. Next year we have a few new courses that students are able to select. The first is an English course, NBE 3U1, Contemporary Aboriginal Voices. This will explore English by using Aboriginal sources and Aboriginal content. Next we have the IDC 301 course, The Art of Business. This course will explore the interactions of art and business and is perfect for students in our Arts and Culture SHSM, Cyber Arts program, or for any student that is interested in how art and business interact. For our grade 12s, we have the IDC 4U3 course, Deconstructing Anti-Black Racism, which will look at the histemic, systemic roots of racism in the Canadian and North American perspective. We also have the MCT 4C1 course. This mathematics course can be used for college application, but can also be used as a bridge between the grade 11 mixed MCF 3M1 and the grade 12 advanced functions course. For students in our special education program, we have the CIC 4E9 course, making personal and economic choices, and the AWA 209 craft course. In our Phys Ed department, we will be offering the PAR 401 Yoga and Mindfulness and PAF 401 Personal Fitness courses at the co-ed level. You can then access the course selection worksheet as an editable PDF. When completing the course selection worksheet, it is important that you write down as much information as possible, especially the name of the course, the department which that course is found in as it appears in my blueprint highlighted in yellow on your course listing page and the full course code including all six digits. Finally there is a link to this video tutorial should you wish to review it at a later date. Also on the Guidance Help page, there are separate instructions for students who are not returning to Northview, including graduates. Please follow the instructions carefully according to your situation. There is also a video tutorial on how to complete course selection for not returning students and graduates. Once you have reviewed all the information on the Guidance Help page and completed your course selection worksheet, you are ready to transfer your choices into My Blueprint at www.myblueprint.ca slash tdsb. On the My Blueprint website, you will use the School Account Login option to log into your account. You can then use the High School option on the left-hand side of the screen or scroll down and use the Plan Courses option. The first thing you should do is view the graduation indicator on the right-hand side of the screen. This will show you how many courses you have planned, earned, and are required in a particular subject area. 
please make sure that you have completed all courses that are required towards graduation, including the Group 1, 2, and 3 credits. When you are adding courses to your plan, it will be helpful to have your pink course selection worksheet available. Paying particular attention to the following. The number in the code indicates the grade level at which that course is offered. 3 for 11, 2 for 10, and 4 for 12. When you're looking for the course, be sure to narrow down the grade to the course, to the grade of the course that you are looking for. At the grade 11 and 12 level, courses are offered at four different levels of study. College, Mixed, University, and Open. Open levels count as electives, but do not count towards college or university admissions. There are also courses available specifically for our ESL and special education students. These courses are indicated by the last digit 9 in the case of special education and the last digit 8 in the case of ESL. For the grade 11 year, only English and mathematics are required. The remaining courses will be chosen based on your interests and your post-secondary plan. For students in our HMST program, you will add your HMST package using the mathematics prompt. Then, you will narrow the grade to 11 and the department to HMST to find the grade 11 HMST package. When you add this course to your plan, it may appear red. This is because of an error in my blueprint and does not affect your ability to submit your courses. Go ahead and submit your courses anyways, despite this error. Once you receive parental approval for your course submissions, guidance will override this error for you. Students in our Cyber Arts or ABCA program, you will add your course package in the first available course slot. You will then narrow the grade to 11 and Cyber Arts in the case of Cyber Arts, and 11 and ABCA in the case of ABCA. This will allow you to add the appropriate packages to your plan. Grade 11 is also the year where students have an opportunity to join one of our Specialist High Skills Majors programs. You can learn more about these programs by selecting the Schism Planner on the right-hand side of your screen. You will then be taken to the Schism Planner where you'll be able to browse the programs available at Northview. Northview currently has three SHSM programs, Arts and Culture, Hospitality and Tourism, and Information and Communication Technology. Simply select one of these to continue. Then, you need to indicate your anticipated pathway, apprenticeship, college, university, or workplace. You will then be able to review the requirements for the SHSM program that you have chosen. If this program looks like it might interest you, you can then indicate your interest by leaving your phone number and email. One of the leads of the SHSM program will get back to you on information on how to sign up for the program. There is also a link on the guidance help page in the virtual course selection fair to a video created by the SHSM program telling you more about each of the three. Once you have successfully entered your eight courses and your three alternatives, you're ready to move on to the next part of the process, which is submitting your course selections. You submit your courses by selecting Review Course Selections. On the screen, the first thing you want to do is make sure that all your courses are entered correctly and as you intended. If you plan to take summer school for any of the courses on this list, please make sure to indicate that in the comments box on the right hand side. Let guidance know what course you plan to take in the summer and which of your electives you want to replace it with once the course is completed. You are then ready to submit your courses. The final step in the process is to receive your parent or guardian approval. You will do this by sending them in email. Use the send approval email icon on the right hand side to do this. 
in the drop down box, simply enter your parent or guardian's email to send them an email for approval. Once your parent or guardian receives the email, they will be able to see the courses that you have chosen. They then have the option of approving these courses directly from that email. Course selections must be submitted and approved by your parent or guardian by Wednesday, February the 24th. Guidance will be hosting Zoom drop-in sessions during the week of February the 16th. Please check the Guidance Google Classroom for the exact times and dates of these sessions. Now this concludes this video tutorial on how to use my blueprint to complete course selection. Bye for now!